Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you a very powerful static site generator, ViewPress. It can also be used to build your own block system. You may get bored in using WordPress. You want to try something different. And you may be a JavaScript expert. You want to build some block system with JavaScript. That's the one for you, ViewPress. Why do we choose it? It's simple enough and the power by view and the very performant. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you need to have Node.js 10 plus version installed. Optionally, you can, you should also install Yarn. But in my demo today, I'm going to use Yarn. You can also use NPM, so that's why it's just an optional tool for you. Okay, let's start it. First of all, we need to create a, a site or a project. We can use a yarn command to do so. I have already created a folder viewpress.blog. So I'm going to create a site here. So you need to give a name to your project. We say zero one coder. And the description, email. Name, repo. We don't have any repo for this project yet. So we just skip. Okay, it's finished. Let's see the folder. We have a docs folder created, then we Go to docs. You can see here, I can also show you the code, the folder structure. I just opened this folder. There's a package.json. This is automatically generated. So let's run yarn install. So it will install all the dependencies for, for me. And uh, we can see a very important file called config.js. This is a core configuration of the whole project. It defines the, the metadata, the title description, and uh, the, the theme configuration and the plugins. I'm not going to cover all the aspects of ViewPress. Uh, View so today I'm going to introduce you the most common changes you may need to apply when you start creating some site. Okay, dependency installed. Now we can run yarn dev. So this is to launch the local dev environment. It's running on 8080 port. Port. So once it's ready for visit, we will. I will show you. Uh, I will show you here. Okay, I just create open this tab, so you can see this. Is a, this is the default look and uh, feel of the view press. It also populates some sample content to to the, the project. Okay, first of all, I think most of the, most of you guys want to change is a title here. It's called the ViewPress Docs Boilerplate. Plate. Uh, in my case, I want to change to zero one coder. So this is the, the conf where the title is defined. So this is a config.js. We change the title to zero one coder. And uh, you can see as it's built, so it will be automatically refreshed. Okay, so this is zero one coder. Next thing is want to remove the items in the nav, nav bar. This is what we call nav bar. So we want to remove all the items and uh, we want to just have a single item there called block. To create a 
block so we need to so it's it's a url something we want to access block like this right so it doesn't exist so we need to create a folder in source src we name as block i'm also going to copy readme from config and change a bit i'm going to talk about it in, in the future videos. But here, let's say title, all posts. Okay, all posts. So this part is called front matter. It's supported by WordPress. So if you're looking to the documentation, so there is a very detailed instruction to this thing. So I'm not going to cover too much about it. For now. So you can see as I have defined the create a folder under the readme.md file, you should already be aware. So this path, this route works. So it show us all posts. So you can see here, this is not a value root, but if I access block slash block slash, this is how WordPress supports a root. So when we create a block folder in source, so it will populate a new root for us. So we can access in this way. It show us a content. Okay, but now, we want to do another change. So we'll, I want to remove all these items. Where are they defined? It's also in the config, config.js. So this is enough. Now I can remove all of them, but I leave one here for the block. You should always already see that the text is what we see on the web page and the link is a HTTP URL to that item. So I remove the rest of it. Okay, it's automatic refresh. You can see, okay, there's a, just one single item block. So if I click, it's, oh, okay. I go back to the homepage. You can see something like this. It's, there's a one single item in the now block. If I click, it goes here. You can see it all posts, but this is not what we want. I expect that there's a thing sidebar on the left showing us all the posts in the list. And on the right hand side, it can show me the post, the post I click or I select. So how can we achieve? First of all, let me add some block here. So every block, every post can be organized as an MD file. If you are familiar with markdowns, so it's, that's the same. So you write your post a markdown and uh, it can be rendered on the web page automatically. This is what's natively supported by WordPress. So it's pretty handy and uh, simple for especially programmer. Okay, let me create first block here. Let me create a post. Experiment with upress.md. Okay. Let me add something here. Title. Experiment with upress. It's very okay as we create a, such a md file we can access in this way experiment okay look so this route is already supported by WordPress. you create a md file 
by using the folder name and or the md5 worker path to the root of the project, you should be able to access the access it on the web page. Okay, we already have the content. So how can we build a sidebar? Okay, sidebar is here. This is a sidebar. Let's say we use block. So this is a sidebar for block. Children is to de define title or posts. Children is the items or the posts or the submenus in sidebar. So first of all, we have experiment with you press. Okay, you can see this is a sidebar. All right, so we click post. Let's go back to the home page. And uh, we click blog. Okay, we can see all posts. So here, if you want to give some more user-friendly information or message, welcome to 01 Coders blog. Okay, so this is what you see on the blog channel. And if you click each post, you should be able to see the content on the right-hand side. Let me add more blog. Feeling very excited. MD. Okay, and uh, let me change it. Feeling very excited. Feeling very excited in using ViewPress. Okay, so let's see. You should not be able to see see it in sidebar until you add it to the config. So this is somehow a bit annoying for you every time when you write a new post. Look, so feeling very excited and the feeling very excited, this is a post so you can navigate back and forth. It's not bad. The only thing is that, okay, you still see the guide. I'm going to remove it like shortly. So in block, you can see all the blocks, the posts, sorry. Okay, so this is how you can manage and create a block site for, for yourself with WordPress. And, and some minor things to change. Let's go back to the homepage. So you can see this is the homepage where it's defined. You may, you may want to know, right? So it's in here, it's index.md. This is a home true hero image. This is the image here. Okay, let me firstly remove this image. If I put no here, look, the image is gone. Nothing, no error in the console so far. Okay. I also want to remove other stuff, the like feature one, feature two, and the feature three. They are all here. Features. This is also supported by natively by ViewPress. I remove for now. So you should see no features. Okay. And this is the tagline. You can say something different here. Uh, passionate coder. Okay, let's see. Yeah, a passionate coder. Probably we want to keep the image okay let's 
annoying. So let me see how I can quickly get it back. Okay, let's keep the image and get rid of the other stuff. Okay, action. We want to say block. So this is the only feature supported on this side so far. So you can see, okay, block, right? And uh, if what if we want to change the color? The color is defined here, it's in style palette. There are four variables used to define the colors. So this is uh, the accent color. So this is a kind of light blue, the, the color I like. So you can see, okay, it's changed to blue. You may also want to change the hero image here, but for now I just leave it as is. Okay, so you can see now, this is pretty much what you can achieve in probably 30 minutes with ViewPress. It's very easy to build, right? And especially when you are a experienced programmer, you are familiar with JavaScript, familiar with Markdown, so you can organize all your posts in MD files and uh, store them or put them in, uh, for example, the blog folder. Then they can be served. The one thing you always need to remember is that every time when you add a new post, you need to add it to or append to the sidebar in order to show it on the web page. Otherwise, uh, it won't be linked anywhere on the site. So before we end today, so let's look, let's see how it looks on mobile. It's not bad, right? And uh, let's go back to the home page. Yeah, this is the home page. You can see the it's simple and clean and it's pretty responsive. And uh, if you click the burger item icon, so you can see all posts and uh, I can navigate back and forth. You can also search. Notice that you can only search by title, right? If you see here, we have you press in the content on if I search view, you see that we don't have any, we don't have this post list in the result view, right? So this is a different uh, content, it's different post. It, it show up just because they are still in the source folder and that it gets indexed by the search engine. I can remove all both of them so that it won't be located or addressed by the search. Okay, so this is the view press and how we can quickly build a blog for, for, our, for ourselves. The rest of the work you need to do is to find somewhere to get a host. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm going to introduce more about the, the few ViewPress firmware and that deep dive into the configuration, customization, and uh, even more features. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.